Okay, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to trade options. Options. No, not college, but something like college. Today I'm going to be showing you guys this is trading view right here. Um most of you um probably should know about trading hood, trading hood, trading view if you do know um if you trade in general. Um so this is trading view these this is my watch list right here. Um but I'm just going to be showing you guys a couple of things when I that I look at when I am breaking down um a stocking and what I look at and where I'm looking and how I'm looking at it. Uh yeah, so uh, this is bar chart right here um normally i'll take a look at this on a daily i look at the unusual options uh the volume um you guys can see right there the percentage change the volume the total amount of contracts traded during that current session um open interest so that's total open interest for the current tra trading session um, you can see the call to put ratio even gives you the ratio right there. And then it gives you even a breakdown uh, right here in the help section um, section um, right over here. It even says uh, right there, gives you all the kind of key information, call volume, definition, yada, yada, 0 .0, zero point seven is considered a bearish signal. Um, compared as uh, below 0 0.7 is typically considered a bullish. Um, so yeah, I'll look at that. Um, I'll check this out. Um, look at the basics of it. I'm really just kind of checking off a couple of things. And that's when I'll just honestly, I'll shoot over. Uh, so Hilton, uh, I haven't looked at Hilton either. Shoot out Hilton. What was that? Ticker H L T H L T Hilton. Cause COVID's over, right? Everything is ending. Um, as far as the COVID mass. So yeah, a lot more freedom up North. They've been letting things, uh, They've been releasing restrictions when not Connecticut, all the things, Canada. Um, I know there's still certain restrictions in Canada, though, honestly, as far as like transportation, I believe, and things like that. Um, but let's look at, uh, so we got a double top. You guys can see it gives you some instruction to it gives you the SMA 20, the SMA 50. Um, you can kind of see they've been kind of intertwining, um, but it's been steady along that 50 SMA. Uh, so it's up 3%. Um, this is kind of my toggle, but you can see for the week, 2% for the month, gives you the beta, which is the volatility. Um, normally over one, it's kind of more volatile, more kind of intertwined with the S&P. Uh, ATR right there is the average true range. Um, so double top, I'm gonna look at the volume. SMA 60, I'm gonna go over here, it gives you the SMA 20, sub so 7%, SMA 50, and it also gives you a little bit of intel over here too. We see uh, Truist, Morgan Stanley, some of the big boys um, in their plays, they're, they're calling um, some of their plays right there, hold, um, hold, you see they reiterated, reiterated, reiterated. Um, they had it going up, some banks are calling back. Uh, but yeah, let's look. That's the daily. This is the weekly. Boom. So, whoa. Since that's 20, that's 2021. They've been on a, they've been on a roll 60 to 155. Whoa. Ever since last April 3rd. So it's about to be a year. And it's almost, this doubled. Sheesh. Hilton. Let's look at the monthly because I know it dropped COVID. Look at that 2020. Boom. January 2020, February, March. That's really when everything happened. March 2020. That's when everything just. Pfft. That's what happened. So um, I'm going to show you guys this next. 
Um, so boom, you guys can see it's just it's been bullish. Um, let's look at the insider transactions. Um, and then I'll honestly I'll shoot over to my chart, and I will look. Um, I'll look over here. Let's see. Mm. All right, so let's look at the daily. So support. It broke up at support level, just me looking at it, just eyeing at it. But like that was the previous support. Uh, so yeah. Oh no. Uh oh. There we go. Let's make that white. So I can see it. Uh, so we're like that was support level, boom, boom. Yeah. So it didn't finally bounce off that it's triple. Triple bottom, argue quadruple. Try to test that resistance right there at the top. Uh, fail, support, resistance, support, boom, push, nope. And now it, it's trying to cut that. It's trying to get that. This, this level right here broke through that level. So let's see. On the lower end. It was moving steady nicely. It was oh, in the MACD. Look at bottom of the MACD right there. Um, and also the average true range right there. The average true range is volatility purposes. It just another confirmation, another convergence just confirms uh, with the MACD. The MACD, you see the blue going over orange. Blue over orange is good. Um, So boom, it just moved up steadily, steadily. But it broke that it broke that support line. It broke uh, weekly. Let's look at the year. Look at the year, the whole year. Oh, so since September though, it's been a hint. Dang, September would have been again in 2021. Anyways, um, I'm just looking at it. It looks so nice. A lot of charts don't look so actually put together. Uh, right above that 50 SMA uh, as well. Um, over here gives you the ticker, gives you description, daily range, capitalization, market cap, 43 billion. So that is a micro cap. Micro cap, anyway, that's actually under a micro cap. Actually, I'm tripping. That is not a micro cap. That is a mid cap. That is 43 billion, not million. If it was 43 million, it would have been under a micro cap, but it's 43 billion. 43 billion is a mid cap. Mid cap is two uh, to 10 billion. I'm still tripping. Not two to 10 billion. It is micro is 300, it's 50 to 300 million, then it's 300 million to 2 billion, 2 billion to 10 billion, and then it's 10 billion to 200 billion. And that's that's a large cap actually. And then 200 billion plus is the mega cap. Anyways, brain fart, anyways, happens. Uh, but yeah, the chart looks nice. It broke above the MACD on a daily. Supporting it the weekly is looking semi. The MACD is at a cross row right there. The orange is over the blue. So orange over blue means change in direction. The MACD is just for direction purposes. And then the volatility and also the ATR, the average true range is telling me too. So we'll see. It's been, and it also gives you guys to see broad range for the past month, week, six months, year. Um, I'm not too sure about these says technicals. Well, the technicals say strong buy. I don't like the rating. Uh, I don't really don't look at these too too much. Um, 
I see them, but uh, I'm not looking at them. Uh, so yeah, um, and then I'll go back to Finn. Now I'm gonna go back to unusual, and then I'll go here, and then also another thing, uh, a little insider information. Um, and I'm just gonna wrap this up. Insider, insider, insider monitor. There you go. Insider monitor, insider trading pre, insider trading report top. 10 insider bias of the week. Um, so yeah, it gives you the top 10 buys of the week from the insider trading. See Kodak, Jilled. You see all the tickers right there. Um, but yeah, I normally look at that and then I'll look at Finbo Viz more. Honestly, I'll go on the screeners. It's gonna be the last thing, honestly. It's gonna wrap it up. The screeners is kind of where I was just at as far as like when you want to look at a company from home to screeners. Which exchange index sector all that country if it's optionable not optionable relative volume technical whatever you want to look at uh i'll look at the groups because the groups gives me a better relative overview of what's been kind of going on for the day the week month six months three months etc see energy's been booming not today not the past week though the past three months though it's been booming booming but you see right here so crazy energy was semi the last today actually and i was actually in two options today and it was definitely that type of energy okay uh but appreciate you guys if you want more information more access on uh, my instagram is hey sam follow me on hey sam shoot out me a dm i'll answer you um i'm not weird or anything just don't be weird i'll answer your question uh, we could shoot a zoom call um, give you guys more insight on what I got going on and maybe we collab, maybe we can, um, you got something of value as well, um, that we can, you know, talk on more elaborate on. Cause this is my money. This is my bread and butter. I love this. And, uh, we tune in until next time. I'm out.